Hi sponsors. So we're here in this tutorial, we're going to go through how it looks like on the investor side when they are going to go through your deal and the commitment flow. So I haven't registered for my own portal yet. So what I'm going to do is click register. And if you recall in the last tutorial, we we did a custom form. So my first name is Alan. I'm going to put my M. I'm going to say Alan at investnext.com. I'm going to put my phone number. Seven. And then we're just going to put a birthday. So I'm going to say my birthday is coming up in December. And how did you hear about us? A friend. And I'm going to check this off. I'm not a robot. And submit. Awesome. So thank you. Please check your email for your registration link. So I'm going to go check my email and I'll be right back. So here I am in my email and I can see that the form submission has been approved. So I'm going to click accept invitation. I'll be prompted to make a username and a password. And the password does have to be a good password at minimum for security purposes. So we create the account, I can see my password strength. And just like that, I'm into the portal now. So here we can see that new offering is available. I don't have any contributions yet. And I can also see that welcome message right here. So I'm going to actually click on offerings right here. And I can see that that ABC townhomes offering is right here with that investment blurb, but I could have also clicked on it right here. So whichever way for your investors, they're able to do that. So right here, we can see the blurb, you know, the summary, the pictures, schedule a call, that key information, everything we inputted for the deal room. So I'm going to go ahead and click invest now. And here I can see enter your commitment. So recall that we had put in those restrictions for a minimum commitment of 25,000 a maximum of 100,000 and increments of $500 only. So I'm going to do 30,000 and I'm going to click next. And here we select an account. So a legal entity that I'll be investing with. If I was a repeat investor or I already have an account in the system, I would be able to see that account here. But since I'm not, and this is my first time, I'm going to create a new account and I'm going to click next. I'm going to, here are all the entity types that are available. And I'm going to say individual. So let's just do this really quick. Okay. And click next. And here's that investment disclaimer that we had put in. So I'm going to certify that I have read and understood the investment disclaimer. And then I'm going to be prompted to sign documents. So remember that we we uploaded four different documents, one for individual, one for joint, one for LLCs, and then another for IRAs. And here I'm only presented with that individual document. So I don't have to select as an investor, which document should I be filling out or anything like that? Because I selected my account to invest as an individual, I'm streamlined to just that single document for me to complete. So I'm going to click to sign right here and let's just type that in. Perfect. And then we're going to click continue. I'm going to say, I agree. And here we have the funding instructions for the wire. So right now I can say print instructions, skip for now, or I have sent funds. And if I click, I have sent funds. Are you sure you want to confirm the sponsor will be notified of incoming funds? And I'll say confirm. Awesome. So that's been a success. And I have now initiated my investment to invest into the opportunity here. So I'm going to click done now. And that has all been done. So now I'm going to actually flip back to our admin side to see what it looks like on the other side now. Hi sponsors. So we're here now back on the other side of the admin side. So here I can see one document ready for a countersign. So if I were to click this, 
it will take me right here to where there's signature request. That's the same part of the document side. And I can see this is a subscription agreement for an individual and it's from myself. So here I'm going to click it and I'll say countersign. And it's going to take me into the document for me to sign. So here I just click sign and we're going to do sponsor. Perfect. Insert continue. And I'm going to say I agree. And now that document has been signed by both the investor and myself. And if I look again, that should all be cleared out. If not, it'll be cleared out shortly. And then now I'm actually going to go back into fundraising capital raises. And I can see this is now active. I have a commitment progress of 2% so far of the 1.5 I want to raise and 30,000 has been committed so far. So I'm going to click this and I can see the paperwork is complete, right? For this opportunities. If there's any other here, uh, this is linked to the contact card. So I can see Alan myself has this opportunity. And if I click on the this opportunity, I can see what stage I'm at. So the paperwork has been completed. And I, if I click the commitment right here, I can see the details here. So I can see that the document has been completed, but funds have not happened just yet. And I can see that from this as well. So I did a wire. So I'm going to actually say receive funds and I'm going to mark it for whichever date. And I'm going to say November 24th, 30,000. And I'm going to say send funds received email notification to the investor. So I'm, and I'm going to record the investment. If I had funded through ACH and sent the money right through the system, I wouldn't have had to manually receive the funds in the system. It would have automatically recognized once that payment does go through the system that this individual has funded. So awesome. I can see this manual entry here now and it's for the 30,000. So if I were to refresh, I can see funded. And now that looks all good. And if I go to projects now and ABC townhomes as the project, I will see that I have a position within this project now. So anybody who completes their completed documents and funds, once funds have been received and recorded, they will then be moved from the capital raise to the actual project, which we'll go through next in the next training video of how to manage your project. What I'll like, what I'll do right now is do a quick recap of what we have done so far. So we have all of our investor portal branding completed access is available. We have also created a form right here in the forms for anybody who comes through the portal for specific information I like to receive. We've also completed our deal room and it's live and active as we can see right here and we've uploaded documents. So we've done quite a bit now, and now we're moving in from the completing a capital raise to now managing the project. So as mentioned previously, we're gonna do the next video of how to manage your project, uh, which will have a lot more information on how you can do distributions, upload K1s, um, and some other aspects of managing your project within InvestNext. Thanks for following along so far. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All the best.